The Estacada School District is now the first district in the greater metro area to reopen entire schools. The district has two elementary schools, and today both of them opened up for all grades, all K through 5 students. Fox 12's Marilyn Deutsch reports from Clackamas River Elementary School in Estacada. Kindergartners and first graders got into their classrooms two weeks ago. Today, their older brothers and sisters got their chance. While third grader Kaysen rode his bike to school, mom Ashley Smith walked with him. Kaysen told us he was really looking forward to recess today with his new classmates. And he was also looking forward to meeting his new teacher. I'm excited to see Miss Rutherford in person. We're all anxious because it's been a year since they've been in school, but we're excited that they get to interact with their peers. The school bus has started rolling up about 7.30. The district says it's prepared almost a full year for a return to the classroom for all of its 1,800 students. Half of the students in Estacada schools are in elementary school, so getting almost 900 students back in classrooms for hybrid learning is a significant accomplishment. It's just been really nice to hear the sounds of kids in buildings again. Greeting students this morning, Principal Christina Anderson. She says it's been lonely without the kids. It's just a lot of energy that's coming back into our school. It's felt more like an office space for a while. There are reminders everywhere of what students need to do to stay safe during the pandemic. All schools now have rapid COVID tests on campus. And for now, in-school learning is just two days a week. The rest of the week is still online learning at home. The parents who wish can still keep their students home for only online learning. I guess if we went to Saturday school, perhaps. We peeked into Ms. Halsey's fourth grade class this morning. She was instructing her students in COVID-19 health and safety measures, spacing and hygiene. But she also let them know it's okay to take a break and let it out. <laughs> It may be February 8th and well into the school year, but it was the first day of in-person school for the 2020-21 school year. And so this morning, one of the first things these second, third, fourth, and fifth graders got to do was have their first day pictures taken with their teachers. Almost normal for these kids in Estacada, many of whom not only had to pivot because of the pandemic, but also felt the effects of the fall's wildfires. Principal Anderson says having the kindergartners and first graders back first taught teachers they needed to allow more time for hand washing those tiny hands. She thinks the challenge with the older kids will be different. I think the younger kids came in ready to learn the new systems. They didn't have to unlearn anything. So I'm sure with the older kids, they'll just be small tweaks. And yes, this is the way you did it last year, but it looks a little different now. Some in-person learning has been going on at the middle and high schools, but it's been extremely limited. However, next week, uh, they hope to begin some hybrid learning there at the middle and high schools here in the Estacada School District. In Estacada, Maryland Deutsch, Fox 12, Oregon.